Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be doing a tag video. Today we are going to be doing, or I'm going to be doing, the Happy List book tag. This was created by one of my friends here on booktube named Katherine Lyle. She tagged me in this and created it. I'm sorry, it's been a while since she tagged me in the video. I've been kind of busy, but I'm just now getting around to doing the tag videos, so don't worry if you tag me in a video. I'm about to do it. <laughs> but anyway, this is just a tag video talking about all the things you love that make you happy. So let's get started. Question number one is a book you can always go back to and feel happy. For this one, I'm going to go with Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Every time I think about this book, every time I see this book, I just feel so, so, so happy because Simon and Baz are everything to me. I love this book so much and every time I read it, it just puts a huge smile on my face. Question number two is your standums, which means your number one joy-filled fandom or fandoms. I don't know if all of y'all know, but I am a huge Sarah J Maas fan. I love her so much. She is one of the reasons why I love young adult fiction so much. So Sarah J Maas for sure. Here we have her Throne of Glass Collector's Edition, but I have a bunch of her books. We have the A Court of Thorns and Roses right there, and we got Throne of Glass all the way over there, spinning the rest of that shelf. I love anything Sarah J Maas. I'm biased, gotta say it. I just love her world and I love the romance in her books. It's fantastic to me. All of my friends that aren't big readers, I've convinced them or someone else in the group has convinced them to read these books and we have like a whole entire group chat from like old high school friends that we still talk in to this day. Hi book buddies if you're watching this video. <laughs> I love this author and both of these series so much and it's, she's just made my reading experience like so amazing and way better than I thought it would be. I just, I love both of these fandoms so much. <laughs> Question number three is a type of book cover you'll always pick up in the bookstore. So y'all know I'm a romance freak and I love me some steamy books. That's just me. So I am loving looking at these kissing covers. These are all Milo Gray books. I love her covers. We have Come Back to Me, Stay With Me, and Run Away With Me. I love all these covers. I think they're gorgeous. But another style of cover that I am always obsessed with and I always display are illustrated covers. We have Carry On by Wimbo Rowell. Here's the illustrated cover. Next we have Radiance by Grace Draven. Sorry for the ring light glare. Um, this is a very shiny cover, but this one is illustrated as well. And then lastly, we have, of course, Bring Me Their Hearts by Sarah Wolf, another display book because this art is just amazing. I love illustrated covers and I will always gravitate towards them. Question number four is a book trope that you love. Now, I really, really, really love second chance romance books. I just, I love, I love them. Two examples would be It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Another example would be The Ones Who Got Away by Ronnie Lauren. These two are uh, second chance romance books. So if you're into that trope, here's two examples for you. Question number five is an anticipated release that makes you happy when you think about it. For this, I have three books. <laughs> two are from the same author. Um, we're gonna go with Christina Lauren books. The Unhoneymooners is coming out on May 14th next week and I am so excited. I don't know anything about the Christina Lauren books that are coming out this year, but I love their books so much that I'm so excited for them. And then I'm also excited for Twice in a Blue Moon, which is coming out on October 22nd. And no, it's not on my most anticipated releases of 2019 video that I made earlier in the year because they announced this book later into 2019 after I posted that video. But this is another anticipated one for me. I love Christina Lauren's books so much, so I'm excited for both of these. Another one is Find Me Their Bones by Sarah Wolf. This is the second book to the Bring Me Their Hearts series. And I love Bring Me Their Hearts so much. It's my favorite young adult fantasy book at the moment. So I need the next book and I'm so excited for it, I am just gonna be so happy when I pick this up. <laughs> Question number six is an author who's full canon of books you love. I have three. We already talked about Sarah J Maas. I'll pick up basically everything she writes. Next we have Christina Lauren. They have occupied quite a big space over here. And number three, we have Colleen Hoover who is basically the rest of the shelf on this side. I love all of their books and I will pick up every single book that they write. For sure. Question number seven, your coziest go-to reading snack slash drink. So I never really eat or drink when I read. I will sometimes 
like read on my phone, like prop it up with my pop socket and read on my phone if I'm reading an ebook and like just swipe through when I'm reading, eating like breakfast or something. If I'm like really invested in the book right then and there. But normally I don't really eat anything. If I were to say anything, I only, I only drink water. I, I don't really drink anything else. And I like just a little bowl of tortilla chips, I guess. I guess that's my pick. I don't really eat anything though when I read, so. <laughs> Question number eight is a book you've shared with family or friends. So none of my family members <laughs> read like at all. I'm the only one. So I'll talk about ones I've recommended to friends. I've gotten a lot of friends into the Sarah J Mass community. I've gotten a bunch of them into Colleen Hoover's books, but one that some of my friends really loved was the Edge of Never by J.A. Rydmierski, kind of like a road trip romance book. They seem to really enjoy this one as much as I did. Question number nine is a fellow booktuber slash book blogger whose content always brings you joy. Every person I'm subscribed to brings me joy. Just gotta say that. I'm going to talk about three just off the bat that I could think of off the top of my head. First, we have Ashley from Ash Heart Books. I love her videos so much because she's a romance lover and I always get great recommendations from her and she's just an amazing person. Next we have Hannah from, it's not Snow White and the Seven Shelves anymore, isn't it? Snow White Reader is her channel name now? I don't know, it used to be when I first subscribed to her, it was Snow White and the Seven Shelves. I forget her channel name, but every single video that she makes is so, so, so funny. I love them so much. <laughs> and next we have Steph from Nuffa Entertainment. I love her videos so much. She's just a great person and is really funny and I love her whole aesthetic and I, I, I just love her. But yes, I have way more people that I love that bring me joy. Those were just three off the top of my head that I could think of right now. Question number 10 is name something about the content you create that you love. I love like everything I create. I wouldn't post something that I didn't love, but looking back, there are probably some videos that I would like to have deleted from my channel, but at the time they brought me joy for posting them. My favorite video that I've made recently is probably my Romance Reads recommendations video. I loved making that video. I just, I feel most myself in that video. Like if you wanna know what Avery's like in real life, I, don't, I feel like I'm energetic to a point where that's me in that video. And I, I, I just feel very passionate about the books that I'm talking about in the video. So I think it comes across very well in that one. But my favorite thing about having a booktube channel and having my booktube channel in particular is all of the amazing people that I've met and I get to talk to every single day, basically. I love how I've met so many great people and I have been introduced to way more channels they inspire me, y'all inspire me. So that's what I love about having a booktube channel. So that is it for all the questions, but I am going to tag some people. I'm coming out with a lot of tags in the near distant future. So I'm going to be tagging a lot of people throughout the month or so. Right now I'm only gonna tag four. The four that I'm gonna tag today is Emma from Muggle Glamour, Amy from Book Girl Abroad, Haley Mitz, and Caitlin Abridged. I love all these channels and these are such sweet ladies who always comment on my videos and I love watching their videos. So be sure to go check out their channels and yeah, I tag all four of you ladies and anyone else watching this video. If this tag made you happy, then go out and do it. It was fun to make and made me happy to make it. So hopefully it'll make y'all happy as well. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more content from me and give this video a like if you liked it. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye.